I am recording for the first time in <clears throat> 8 million megabytes. Cho chocolate. I love oh, chocolate. Fuck. My game is lagging. Oh. <laughs> Where are you? In the mineshaft. Hey! I hear you. You think just because you hear me in the crafting table, you can get a little bit of a, a head start? You can get a little bit... You hear a little weakness in the respiratory tract? I have the highest. Oh! Save me. <coughs> Say, Bitch, you just ran away. I hear you. Yeah, you ran the fuck I away. Don't... What does that mean, huh? You're not waifu material. <coughs> Yo, I, I found saved, more gold berries, my boy! I, I saved your fucking life. You hey, respect me. Hey, I, I kind of don't want to. Uh, maybe ask you again <laughs> later. No, you kind of want to. Uh, yeah, what, what does Mr. Pistol have to say about that? What does Mr. Glock 20 have to say? It's too motherfucking dark on this kid. Maybe I like it dark. What? Maybe I like it dark. <laughs> <laughs> I had a stroke there for a second. Okay, so I went to go train this person on lights at my church. That's what I'm what I'd be doing. Oh. And that's where I was. And I get there and she's like, Hey, did you see the smoke outside? And I'm like, What? No? And she's like, Really? There's like a bunch of smoke like really close by. And I was like, That's not true. And she's like, walk over there. So I walked about 10 feet to my right. And I said to her, I don't see any smoke. You must be tripping. And so she she looked at me like I was being very annoying, which is a look I get very often. And she said to me, listen, come with me. I'll show you. And I, she takes me. And I, I see like the biggest... Oh, that wasn't fully ready yet. I see like the biggest <coughs> plume of smoke in the air that I've ever seen since I watched Holocaust videos of. <laughs> okay. Jesus Christ. Not an overreaction. That was, maybe I shouldn't have said that. I'll I'll, I'll cut that out. <laughs> you cut that out. <laughs> so um okay. Anyways, as I was saying, I saw the biggest plume of smoke that I've ever seen in my life, and I was like, oh my god, joking. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, dude, what? And so I was I went over to my mom and I was like, hey mom, there's some fucking fire. Have you ever seen a fire before? You fucking caveman. She was like, oh my god, I'm gonna go find it. It's really close. So she just zooms off in her Toyota Corolla, <laughs> whatever she drives. And she calls me like five minutes later, and she's like, oh my god, Thanos, that's my name. And she was like, Thanos, Thanos, there's a fire right behind the church. It's right behind the church. You have to come over here right now. There's an old man who had a gas fire in his house. And he came out, and then he was like, fuck, I forgot my guitar. And then he went back in, and he hasn't come out again. And I was like, oh my god. And so I went over there, and it's actually like, there's like 15 fire trucks. This is a true story, I'm not capping. Like 15 fire trucks, and a lot of firemen, and the cops were telling us, like, can you please scoot back in case the whole house fucking blows up from the gas fire? We were like, sure, Mr. Officer Boy. Um... That was the house, bro. <laughs> the house blew up, bro. God. They're like, we gotta get to the fire. And so they got out these axes. And they literally tore the wall down. Like, of the house. They tore the wall down to the house. Like, the wall... The house now no longer has four walls. It has three walls, okay? I was like, dude, this is so sick. But it's also, like, really scary because... It's right behind the church. Like, it's not even... It's like... Like, the line of houses behind the church that I work at. And I was like, oh my god. What the hell is going on? Why is it on fire? It's the cost of fire. I think he just turned on the gas and just left the gas running. And then it just... 
you know? Fire. It was a massive fire. It was like, ah, what? shit, I forgot my guitar and went back in, and he, I didn't see him come out, dude. Did he come out, though? I don't know, because I left, because I had to go train the girl. I mean, I was like, I gotta do my job. But, I hope he, he's fine. I hope he's okay, like, actually. So, I don't know what happened. If the guy's okay, if he ever got his guitar back, or what. Can you give me some sticks? I know you gave me, like, 30 million, but I, I, I actually made torches. What do you say? What, what? do you say? Oh, thank you. Damn, a bunch of rude-ass motherfuckers in this world. I'm sorry. I'm not mean, dude. <laughs> Why are we Jeff, going to a cave again for another few hours? These are the Jeff Mama caves, actually. Does my audio sound like her windows? Huh? Huh? What? Does my audio sound like really bad? Oh, no. I thought you said this is gonna sound like horrendous, and I thought you were gonna say something really fucking terrible. This bombshell, like, I killed my dog in the first grade or something. I, I put a plastic bag over my dog's head. See, okay, here's the thing. See, okay. Here's. I don't, know, I don't know if this is true or not, okay, but I just. I recently found this out. And. Apparently, the vaginal cavity. Oh my god. <laughs> But, um, <laughs> can you stop? I'm trying to make sure. Okay, I don't, I'm not sure if this is true or not, but, um, I recently, like, read in a textbook or, like, online or somewhere. I forget where I read it. But apparently, the vaginal cavity can only hold four <laughs> inches of fucking space? Okay, so, I don't know if this is true or not, and so you gotta tell me, because you have some experience. As a woman, with like with this yeah. kind of thing, right? Yeah, I guess. Uh, and I, I thought I would ask you because you're a woman, and I think you would like know the the vaginal cavity can only hold like four inches, so it doesn't even matter if you have like a large cock because it's only gonna fit like two thirds of the way in, anyways. Yo, the lush caves looking so fresh in my booty cheeks. <laughs> Bro, did you go up there? There's glow squids in there, my guy. There's glow squids? There's glow squids! <laughs> no way. They glow, bro. How big how big do you think their vaginal cavity is? What? This is fucking deep. Hey, how how deep is it? It's like four inches. Oh my god, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna come after you. No, it's I'm sorry, wait, not the way around. Around. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, why is there like asbestos particles in my air? Do you see that? <laughs> Asbestosis. If you are a, if you are a loved one, as a diagnosed with mesothelioma. <laughs> Call 911 immediately, you're dying. <laughs> no! <laughs> Rip. Rip and pants. Bro, that lush cave making me feel some type of way. Yo, mama! Hey, watch this, watch this, watch this. No. <laughs> Got fucking domed. Joker. <laughs> oh my! Oh my God! Joker. Oh my God! Ha! Joker. <laughs> Pennywise. Joker. Pennywise. Joker. Grip sword. Andy, you got a Joker. Pennywise. Oh my God. Joker. Why is my thigh sweating? Oh. You should have sweat. Like <laughs> Bro, look at this place though, like, on life, aside from the asbestos, like, this shit looks so sick. Okay. Oh my god. I have more funny stories. I was on Discord last night. <laughs> 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 
guy is 15 years old, he's in Canada, he says, and he's on Discord, and he's like, yo, I will gotta go to the court tomorrow for, for like, he's like, I gotta go to the court tomorrow, and I was like, why? Everyone's like, why do you have to go to court? Like, what the hell, what did you, what did you do? And he's like, I, um, I robbed a gas station. <laughs> And we were like, this is major cap, but we were along. And we soon realized he wasn't fucking joking. Like, at all. This man was like, confessing on Discord. He was like, yeah, me and my boy, we went in with a BB gun. And we pointed at, pointed at the sky. And he remotely locked the doors behind us. Pulled out his pistol. And he called the police. And he was like, dude has three thousand dollars in the cash register. And I'm like, no one has that much money in the register, but continue. And I'm going I'm facing up to a year in juvie. And so this guy I'm like I'm asking all these questions. And I'm like, okay, well, why did you rob the fucking store? And he was like, money, bitch. And I'm like, dude, you would have made more money working for the store. Plus, you wouldn't be going to jail. Plus, you're white. <laughs> Plus, you're probably not white. And Me he, he was like, he has like no remorse. He almost got away with it. And then he was like, oh, and we're all facing 30 days in prison. Because me and my boy failed the weed drug test. Oh my god. And he was like, and later he was like, me and my boy are out here right now, we're doing shrooms. And I'm like, don't you have a fucking court date tomorrow? And he's like, yeah, but the shrooms, they go away quick. He was like, they, they won't last long in my system, the shrooms, so we're all good. <clears throat> Why are you telling Discord this? They're gonna confiscate your phone. And find these messages. He was like, nah, bro, it's a burner. Bro. And I'm like, you bought a phone just to use Discord to tell people that you robbed the store. How can you afford a phone if you need to rob a store for money? It doesn't make sense. <laughs> right? He's like a major bitch. And he's just like fucking loud mouthing on Discord. Now he is he tried to rob the store for supposedly three thousand dollars. And I'm like, listen. You play GTA 5. You skipped the part of the heist. Where you scope out the goddamn score. You're supposed to scope out the security system. And clearly you didn't, because they were able to lock the doors behind you, you fucking numbskull. Damn. My guy really thought that he could just... <laughs> I'm like, what did you think was gonna happen? You're just gonna walk in there and, like, take the money? I was gonna be a fucking joker from the dark thing. And th this is the funniest fucking part, right? So Canada recently banned handguns. And it's going into effect in the fall. And I was like, you realize that if you had robbed this guy in like <clears throat> two months, he wouldn't have been able to pull a gun on you. And you wouldn't have been able to successfully rob him. <laughs> hey, can you go up to the surface and uh, start building a house? Yeah, do your job as a woman. <laughs> I'm, I'm out here doing the work, putting in the hours. Collecting the bricks. I'm bricked up right now. Hey, these are my club balls, and no one's gonna touch them except for me, you fucking nasty ass zombie. Hey, wh what did I just say to your friend Bob, my man? Hey! Somebody doesn't do a very good job. Is not. I'm gonna kill myself. Yeah, I'm gonna kill myself. No, no, I'm gonna jump. Cowabunga. Were you racist? <laughs> what? You heard me? I said, what are you racist? <laughs>
I don't know, what am I? Probably racist? You can't just say stuff like that. The fuck? What are you fucking with the KKK? I've been sitting here for like hours. My butt hurts. Would you like an extra large shake with that? Would you like an extra large shake with that? What can I do with moss blocks? Mossy cobblestone! Oh my god! You can probably get asbestos or something. You can make mossy cobblestone with moss blocks and cobblestone. Oh! Uh. I'm deceased in like five seconds. What? What? I'm going to fucking die. You said that so matter of factly. <laughs> what is that noise? Is someone like robbing your house? What are you talking about? I just hear. Oh, that's probably my fan. What the fuck? What? How would that be the noise of somebody robbing my house? <laughs> <laughs> well, that was like an alarm or something. Wait, you have fans? Hold on. Dang it. <laughs> I wish, dude. It's pretty rough out here. Wait a minute. 